In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to perform the reverse plank exercise and a simple yet effective progression to add even more of a challenge to this plank variation. If you're looking for a simple exercise to strengthen your core, glutes and hamstrings, then the reverse plank is a great option to try. It's one of those brilliant exercises that requires no equipment at all to get you working really hard. Let me show you. Start out sitting down with your hands on the ground behind you, fingers pointing backwards and arms straight. From there, push down with your heels and lift your butt in the air. You should be looking to achieve a straight line from shoulders to ankles. Keep your butt muscles clenched tight and don't allow your knees to hyperextend. Be aware of your head and neck position as you perform this exercise. Allow yourself to drop your head backwards gently and look at the ceiling rather than straining your neck and trying to look down towards your toes. When you're starting out with this exercise, aim to perform three to five 30 second sets holding this position with good form. As a progression, we can get you loading one side of the body at a time. This provides far more of a challenge. Starting in the same reverse plank position, keep both legs absolutely straight at the knee as you lift one leg off the ground slowly with control and place it back down. Alternate this movement from one leg to the other until you begin to lose form. As before, you should be aware of not allowing those knees to hyperextend and engaging your glute and core muscles as you perform this reverse plank with alternating leg lift. When you start out with this, aim for time rather than reps. I'd suggest getting started with 20 to 30 seconds constantly alternating leg lifts. Let me know how you get on. I want to start doing something a little bit different on these episodes and talk regularly about some topics that have cropped up recently in the comments section. A few people, like Mario here, have asked me whether or not I feel running with sore legs is a sensible idea. Many of us who've been racing and training hard will definitely be able to relate to this particular conundrum. There are a couple of questions I'd like you to ask yourself when you want to run but are still sore from previous sessions. Firstly, how intense is the pain? If your pain's on a three or below on a scale of zero to 10, I usually advise that a short, gentle run is usually okay. Emphasis on gentle. Your body won't appreciate any speed work at this point and if the pain increases, stop. Secondly, where's the pain? If it's coming from around a joint rather than being general muscular soreness, don't run until it's settled. You may want to see a physio. Also, what kind of pain are you dealing with? If the pain feels like it comes from a very specific focal point, then this isn't likely to be something you'll be able to run through and you should get it looked at. However, if it's general muscular soreness that you're feeling with no particular focal point and a definite cause that you can point to, perhaps a hard hill session yesterday, then a gentle run followed by a stretch session may actually help the recovery process. If in doubt, always make sure that you get a running injury or ache properly assessed by a physio. I hope that helps. Good luck with your training and don't forget to subscribe for more of these episodes. I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.